Because we've had a few people ask this already, uh, here's a video that shows you how we set up our typical launch. We connect the air supply and then we connect the pressure regulator to the scuba tank. On this particular flight we're using a jet firming spacer. The spacer creates foam during flight. And then we screw that to the rest of the rocket. And on top of that we're putting a tornado tube. And then we screw the nose cone on top of that. We always put silicon grease on the nozzle o-ring and also inside the launcher. Uh, this prevents it from sticking during launch. Now we pack the parachute. And then we just hook on the door with a rubber band. Today we're using kids bubble bath in the mix. Uh, it's about 50 mils for this rocket. Despite what it says on the side of the bottle, uh, that's just plain tap water. This rocket takes about 1.4 litres and we use a funnel to help get it into the rocket. Then we screw on the nozzle and this is how we load it. We first remove the guide rail from the launcher. This is so that we can load the rocket on without spilling any water before it locks in. And then once it's locked in, we put the guide rail back on the launcher. Today we're filling it to 125 psi. Here you can see the jet foaming spacer at work. And the rocket's ready for launch. Launching in. Five, four, 